Okay guys, I am back again to keep you updated with the current breaking news, trending news, what is going on in Nigeria. So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. Okay, I want to make this real quick. It's about um, the case between uh, the IPOB leader and the Nigerian government. I am not going into details of the whole story because we already know everything. So as we know, Namde Kanu um, was recently allowed by uh, his family member to visit him. And um, we also know that the only people uh, that are permitted to meet with him is uh, his lawyer. So far, so good. But as they find a job for has put the wall on notice over the DSS rob handling and harassing of lawyers during court order visit to Namdi Kanu in their custody. Okay, I will quickly give you the story, but please, before then, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so you get updated whenever I have subsequent updates for you guys. So uh, let me quickly give you um, the update uh, about the visit of Barista Ifanya Jaffa on the 26th of August. Today is 28th, though it is coming late, okay? But I quickly want to share it with you. So according to him, he said the routine visit to a client, Oyen Duma Zinam Dikanu, was conducted today and it went successful. A client, Oyen Duma Zinam Dikanu, specifically requested for his kind regards and compliment to be conveyed to millions of his teaming supporters and well-wishers. He is deeply appreciative of your unwavering solidarity and support. He didn't hesitate in requesting that you all continue to pray without season because it is positively impacting. However, today's visit witnessed a fundamental change in the HITO procedure conventionally adopted for conducting the visit. We were initially unperturbed by the method now introduced by the DSS, but we feel compelled in the prevailing circumstance to make public a strange experience which borders on improper treatment of lawyers in the course of conducting a court ordered visit to their client who is undergoing trial. Lawyers on this visit were searched in a manner akin to a situation where hardened criminals are being searched for possible incriminating substance and object. They were traumatized not only because they were inhumanly treated as criminals on investigation, but lawyers were further dis dehumanized after this embarrassing and unwarranted freak skin by being allowed to wear only slippers after being devastated of their shoe, reading glasses, and writing materials to a visit to visit their client. Though it is readily called for immediate intervention of the court sees of the matter, because it is a right as clearly backed up by the order of the court to visit our clients on this specified date and times, but subjecting lawyers to inhuman treatment in the course of conducting a legitimate visit is what we consider unjustified and unacceptable. We cannot be subjected to any form of intimidation and harassment during subsequent visit to our client because the alien style is only targeted at imputing fear in us, which action we shall resist within the confines of the extant law. Our client, Onyen Doma Zinam Dekanu, is strong in spirit and was fully briefed on this ill, treat on this Ill treatment meted out to his lawyers during the visit. I encourage all and sundry to remain steadfast, focused, peace, and law-abiding, even on the face of this clear case of intimidation of lawyers. 
we shall get this infraction addressed by the court in the fullness of time as processes uh, incidental tier two has been promptly initiated. Note strongly that victory is assured, which can only be achieved by your maximum support, cooperation, and prayers. Thank you all and remain hugely blessed. Sign a job for Ifani Exquire, Oyen Domazi Namdekanu's lead counsel. All right, guys, so um, that is uh, the statement of uh, Barista Ifani Joffo, putting the wall on notice the way uh, the DSS, you know, treated lawyers that went uh, to visit the leader of IPOB. Mazinam, they can know that um, they were allowed to wear bite room slippers. All right. After they were being searched as if they were searching criminals, as if they were searching, um, I don't know how to say it, but people uh, that were suspected to go with um, weapons and uh, incriminating objects. So the lawyers uh, were dehumanized according to Ifan Yejofo by the DSS, and then um, subsequently they allow them to enter with bedroom slippers. Well, um, this shouldn't be surprising. To be frank, I, I know this shouldn't be surprising at all, knowing fully well the type of um, people that are in that place knowing fully well how these people operate how these people work so i really don't believe this shouldn't be anything shocking or surprising to most of us this shouldn't be but however i quickly wanted to update you on the current situation breaking news uh what is going on and so far so good um just a recap that the yoruba nation agitators are planning to embark on a massive protest over the um, anti-open grazing law that any southwest governors that um, you know accept the grazing reserve policy whatsoever and so on that they will embark on a massive protest that is just a recap but i will give you more details on that story in the subsequent video so i quickly want to update you uh the visit of barista ifanya joffa to the dss how it all went uh what they went through in the hands of the dss however let me know what you guys think if you have anything to contribute uh let us discuss that on the comment section below see you guys in another video